The Tabasco pepper gets its name from the tropical Mexican state that hugs the Gulf of Mexico near the Guatemalan border. It belongs to the capsicum fortescens family, which likely originated in South or Central America. Tabasco pepper is widely cultivated, and it still grows wild in the tropics and subtropics of the region. It's not clear whether the pepper originated in Tabasco or merely got its name from American or European travelers who encountered it in Mexico. As early as the 1600s, people in Tabasco were making the peppers into sauce, but it was Edmund McElhenney and his family who made it into a household brand. McElhenney moved south from Maryland to New Orleans around 1840 and rose to prominence as a banker but the Civil War left his business and much of the rest of the American South in tatters. An avid gardener, he eventually moved to his in-law's home on Avery Island, a 2,200-acre salt dome on the coastal plains of Iberia Parish, Louisiana. McElhenney began cultivating some Tabasco pepper seeds. One story, disputed by the McElhenney family, holds that he acquired the seeds and a sauce recipe from a New Orleans acquaintance named Monsell White, and grew his first commercial crop in 1868. Two years later, McElhenney got a patent for his fermented hot sauce made with just three ingredients, the peppers, salt mined on Avery Island, and vinegar. And thanks to savvy marketing, Tabasco quickly became a go-to condiment that many called Cajun ketchup. Fields of pepper plants were once a ubiquitous site on Avery Island, but in the 1960s, the company switched to growing seed sock and sending it to farms in Central and South America. The peppers are made into pulp the same day they're harvested. The pepper mash is sent back to Avery Island, where it ages in oak barrels for three years. The McElhenney plant turns out about 750,000 bottles of Tabasco every day and ships it all over the world. The Japanese are particularly big fans, adding it to everything from pizza to a spaghetti dish called naporatan, made with ketchup, green peppers, sausage, bacon, and the hot sauce. Tabasco comes in teeny bottles and gallon jugs. Astronauts eat it on space missions. It shows up in military rations. And perhaps it's the only pepper sauce ever to have an opera named after it. Everybody is a coming this way. My way and Tabasco is going to stay. To stay. In 2018, Avery Island was placed on the National Register of Historic Places, in part because of the family's long standing efforts to preserve the island's fragile ecosystem. In the 1890s, company president Edward Avery McElhenney created Bird City to protect snowy egrets, which had been hunted close to extinction. Today, the sanctuary is home to many species of water birds. In the 1930s, he started Jungle Island, a habitat preserve that's a popular tourist spot. In the garden, Tabasco peppers are a wonderful ornamental. Like other capsicum frutescens, they grow upright on their plants rather than toward the ground. They change color as they ripen, from yellow to orange to red. And though they are small, about two inches long, they still pack a punch, clocking in on the Scoville heat scale at 30 to 50,000 Scoville units, as much as 20 times hotter than a jalapeno. They are also juicy inside unusual for a pepper, and part of why they make such good sauce. The intensity of the heat depends on the ripeness of the pepper. That's why pickers for the famous Tabasco sauce are known to carry la petite baton rouge, a little red stick bearing the shade of red at which the peppers are at peak ripeness. Easy to grow in the ground or pots, these peppers like full sun and moist soil. The plant can grow five feet tall with cream-colored blossoms. Dried, the peppers are known as red Amazon, but they are ideal for pepper sauce, and of course the internet is chock full of recipes for DIY Tabasco. This little pepper really is a hot commodity.
Thanks so much for watching Seed Stories. We love bringing you the backstory on these amazing varieties. Be sure to click the subscribe button so you won't miss a single episode.